Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here. Now I know I should have done this review a long time ago. Uh, but hey, better late than never, I guess. And it should be like the last day. Uh, so in case that you have not picked up one or any of the parts, this is a prime time to go ahead and get these while you can. Because uh, the Sumo will be leaving the shop very soon. So definitely best to go ahead and get on right now. Now with the Sumo, it is a pretty unique looking suit. It is from the Turn A series. Which, that is a very unique series on its own. Um, but I think it looks good. I think the overall model rendering is fine. Uh, the gold coloring is pretty damn cool. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for gold kits, man. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Now we'll take a look at the head unit. It is going to be a S-type unit. And the shot attack is actually pretty good. Whereas the rest of the stats are pretty lackluster. Now for its EX skill, it is going to have Combat Stance Alpha, it's going to be a buff, 51 seconds, 33 seconds, first time 7, uh, seven seconds. So something that you can definitely tell off the bat is that you can keep this um, buff indefinitely. So you activate it 7 seconds, and it's going to last 51 seconds, so by the time the cooldown is done, you're still in that trance. Like, you're still, you still have that buff throughout the, the time that it's already cooled down, so... Essentially, you can keep this buff throughout the entire match, uh, but it raises your melee attack by 39%. Now, I think this is really good. There's other uh, abilities that are obviously way better than this one. Um, I would even say the Tall Geese is better only because it includes the shot attack. But the only thing that makes this a difference in other you know, mobile suits is going to be the, uh, the word tags. And really... The word tags don't benefit the, the buff because um, Ace XL uh, is basically going to be raising your shot attack, but you're only increasing your uh, your melee with that buff. So, kind of unfortunate. So, we'll take a look at the body. Overall, the stats don't really stand out. They're, they're fairly balanced. And if you take a look at the parts traits, when armor is 40% or less, 10% chance to, su to survive a fatal blow. This is like a, a pretty okay ability. I see a lot of mo uh, mobile suits getting this uh, more recently with the banners. But, I don't know man, like, it's something that is so situational, like, you should aim to overpower your enemy, you shouldn't aim to like, oh, what if I just die, like, no, just, I don't really like this trait, this is something I'm probably not going to put on most of my mobile suits, maybe if you are a defender, which this mobile suit really is a defender type, it can, it can be beneficial, because with the raids coming, you're going to be in the front of the entire group, and you're really going to be uh, the ones probably taking the most damage. So, maybe it is beneficial to have it, but in my opinion, you can get something else. Now with the arms, arms has a pretty good melee attack, everything else is fairly balanced. Uh, now looking at the EX skill, IF Bunker, so it's going to be a beam shot, A-, D, 60 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, piercing is really good, I mean that A- is, is pretty solid for a 3 star. Uh, now Stabby Foe Frozen by your IF Booster with an I Field Saber. Um, that's, I mean that's pretty cool, it doesn't have anything extra bonus, but... It, you know, it traps the enemy, and that's always something that's uh, a pretty good positive. Now, take a look at the legs. Legs don't have anything that stands out from the parameters. Uh, but look, take a look at the EX skill, Flight Unit. So, Category Physical Shot, you're going to have Piercing A-, minus. Power is going to be D, 35 seconds, first time 4 seconds. Accelerate with your Flight Unit, then Detach and Launch. I mean, it's just a basic attack. Uh, it's pretty much like the IF field. Uh, not really anything too special. You're probably going to be able to get canceled out of it, so... Definitely watch out if you're going to be using these legs. Now for the backpack, once again, very basic uh, stats. I think it's just really balanced overall. Take a look at the parts traits. When armor is 60% or more, EX skill piercing boosted 22%. That is super damn good. Because, um, I mean, this is my thing. You really want to increase your, your power and your boost on your EX skills as much as possible. Also lowering the defenses of the enemy and you know increase your overall stats uh, because this is just going to make your uh, your you know attack go higher, which is beneficial for the arenas because you're going to want a high overkill damage output. Uh, so this is definitely something you may want to throw in, you know maybe on one of your mobile suits or something like that 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 has a D uh, maybe a D C or B ranking in the piercing category. Now take a look at the Heat Fan, uh, pretty much basic stats for a 3 star, take a look at the Storm Edge, so it's a beam melee, D in piercing, which that backpack can uh, increase it, now you're going to have power of a B+, plus. cool down 21 seconds, 6 seconds, uh, create a whirlwind with your axe, and then mow down the surrounding foes, raise your shot defense by 19%, so that definitely um, you know screams out uh, defender to me, because you're doing some damage, but you're also protecting yourself from any kind of shot attack. So this is going to be really good against the big Zam. 
And the last part is going to be the ham beam gun. Uh, so shot attack is, is pretty average. Uh, you know, like I keep saying, this is pretty average from a three star uh, three star standpoint. Not a default four star. Obviously, default four stars are just naturally going to be better. Uh, but this trait is going to be when armor is 60% or more, shooting damage output boosted by 20. Each individual shot getting it get an extra boost of 20 is not bad. Um, I don't I don't think it's horrible, but it's something that it, it doesn't do anything good. Like it's it's okay. It, it, yes, you increase your damage by a little bit, but 20. I don't know. I'm not breaking the bank to try and just get an extra 20. I would rather get something that has. Oops, my bad. Um, I'd rather have something that is just going to be uh, significantly better, to be honest. Now, I do want to go over Harry because he is going to be in the shop. Uh, melee attack is going to be really good. Uh, he is going to be a defender type. Now, let's take out... Let, we got to check out the trait because the trait is always the make and break of a pilot, in my opinion. So, you got beam range weapon, magazine boosted 20%. It's not horrible because now you get to, you know, shoot more shots. That's always a good plus. But... I don't know it doesn't really help you as a defender in my opinion like that doesn't translate to defender it would be cool if it was something like with every shot you can lower your enemy's defenses or you increase your own defenses or I don't know something that was like really like I don't know really more beneficial but if you want a defender that is definitely having a lot more emphasis on range weaponry this is gonna be your guy now for the word tags you are gonna have a Excel. now let's check out what that actually does so, Ace Excel is going to raise your shot attack 10% while active, like I mentioned earlier, uh, which is, is really good. I mean, if you want this mobile suit to just really excel in the shot attack, it is, it's going to give that extra 10% boost, which can be a lot. Then you're going to have Heavy Armor is going to increase your defenses by 5% each. Uh, Mid-range is okay for uh, Urban Terrain. Eh, it's not really that good. Uh, Mid-range, however, is going to raise your shot attack and physical resistance 5% while active. So... I mean, you're not going to be able to get that because of the fact that you only have two of those active. So you have to replace two other parts and then have a shield with um, mid-range. Um, and then you got close combat with uh, Harry, which is odd. Why would they throw uh, close combat? That should have been heavy armor in my opinion, but, you know, kind of is what it is. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at his actual weaponry and everything. Now, I'm having a lot of slowdown for whatever reason, so I do apologize for that. Oh, it's looking horrible. So that's flight unit. Sorry, it went really fast. Now we got combat stance. Man, this game is slowing down for whatever reason. I don't know why. So, I mean, the weapon, the main weapon, uh, his beam rifle is not bad. Now let's look at IF bunker. So stun him and just plow right into him. Pretty good. All right, so we got stun. That's the heat axe. Pretty good animation. Alright. And we're probably doing more uh, heat axe. Yeah, we're doing we do a lot more of the heat axe. And there's that. Let's go ahead and get this over with. So that's flight unit. Alright, so now we got the fender up. Oh, that was so loud. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, this it looks pretty good, but we got one more EX skill that we're going to take a look at. All right, so we're going to be jumping in, and we're going to do the um, we're going to do the storm, which is going to be the axe's uh, weapon. All right, so let's try it. So that does some AOE damage. That's actually pretty good, especially if like you're against a boss that just has a ton of enemies around him. Alright, so we're going to do that combat stance. And let's go do that IF bunker. Sweet. Alright. Oh, well, I think overall the handling of the mobile suit is really good. I don't really have any problems with uh, the handling at all. Mm. Oh, oh, you want to hit me, right? Yep, yeah, that was it. So, overall, pretty damn good mobile suit. Okay, so I did make a little custom. 
this one's a little tricky because I didn't want to like grossly take away everything that the sumo represents. Um, so the only things I did keep was the head, the backpack, and the legs. Um, I don't even think the legs are that good, but I really couldn't find a better replacement for them. Um, but I did give it the um, if, I gave it the Sword Strike Gundams, both uh, chest and the arms. Uh, and then I did give it the Gian Sword Rifle instead of its uh, normal weapon. And then instead of uh, Harry, I, I gave Shar Asimov because although he can be a really good defender, I was like, you know, with the sumo head, that's so much of an in or out fighter type of uh, ability. So that's kind of like what I want to stick with. Now for the traits that, that pretty much did change, uh, the Sword Strike Gundam's uh, body is going to say against a large uh, enemy, Enemy strong melee power reduced 14%. So this is good uh, when you're going against like the 1 in 100, 160, even like the raid bosses. You're going to be an outfighter, so you probably be like kind of in and out, uh, obviously, but you know, hence the title. Mostly in though, because you really don't want to focus too much on shot attack if you're going to be buffing up your melee. Uh, but I think it's going to be good just to kind of protect yourself. Now for the um, the GN Sword, when armor is 40% or more, enemy shot melee power reduced 17%. Uh, str sorry, strong melee power reduce uh, 17%. So once again, just you know, stacking up those uh, strong melee reductions because you're not really worried about shot attack. You're going to be in. You know, if you're going to be close to your opponent, they're going to retaliate by doing melee attacks. Um, so hey, just kind of reducing that at all means possible. Now it says uh, for Shar with speed attribute, which he is, all damage taken reduced by six. Not really that good, but he was one of the better out like outfighters that also has a beneficial trait because most of the other outfighters I have are more technique oriented or just not really that great on uh, the traits so I think that's pretty good and uh, basically instead of um, I think it was the arms the IF field uh, I gave him block stance Omega so if you look on block stance this is from the sword strike arms raise melee defense of your squad by 30% so, pretty good. You get to raise uh, not only your uh, defenses, but you're increasing the defenses of your uh, other you know, team members. And that could definitely come in handy, uh, at, both as an outfighter or if you were a defender. So, these are just some ideas that you can actually play around with. Obviously, customize however you want. Um, now, the other question is, what parts are pretty much worth investing into? What I would say, the sumo head, by far, is the thing you need to max out. I think it's a great, great part. Um, so 100% max that out. Next is going to be the body. And this is what I mean. So when armor is 60% or more, EX skill piercing boosted 22%. This is one part of the backpack that I definitely maxed out because this is going to be something beneficial, especially for arenas. So if I really want, if I have a, a really crappy um, or even sub crappy um, EX skill, it, you know, I want to boost that piercing so that way I can maximize that damage output as much as possible. So I do personally think this is uh, probably one of the better parts of the sumo. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you can get away with like maybe if you want to increase the uh, the legs or the arms uh, because they both have a A minus in the uh, the piercing or sorry the power. Um, I think that's fine. But in, in my personal opinion, man, like flight unit. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean. Uh, yeah, so it has an A minus in piercing. Um, I think it's okay. I think both of the uh, the EX skills that it does have are fine EX skills. Personally, though, I would not use them. Uh, there's much better that you can get. So, yeah, these two are just going to be passes for me. Um, but it's up to you guys. So, what, what is my take overall on the Sumo? Hey, it's a pretty good suit. It looks really unique, really cool. Um, and some people are probably not really going to be expecting this batteries not included head looking ms uh in the arenas so i think it's going to be pretty cool to just kind of like maybe you know shift up the arenas uh there's certainly some mobile suits i've seen that are just like what is that even doing what can they do and it turns out oh it's a pretty good in fighter but hey that's that's pretty much it for me guys so i do hope this analysis was somewhat informative for you if not definitely let me know in the comment section below how it can improve uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.